Uh, Mike McDermott from FreshBooks, and I'm in Miami at uh, Bar Camp uh, with uh, Greg and Jason, the Rails Envy guys. What is Rails Envy? Mostly it's just we do a podcast, a weekly podcast that is like news for the Ruby and Rails world. Okay. I saw some uh, pretty sweet uh, trashing of PHP Pro Ruby videos. Hi. I'm Ruby on Rails. And I'm PHP. So what you got there? Oh, these are a bunch of SQL files all the developers on the team sent out. And um, I'm really frustrated because they just overwrote all my database changes. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah, you feel my pain, right? Well, actually, Ruby on Rails uses something called migrations. This allows developers to make database changes independently without stepping on anybody's toes. You still have to write tons of SQL, though, right? Well, no. Migrations actually use Ruby, so it's database independent. Wow, that sounds really good. I think I'll give that a try, actually. You know what? On my way home from work tonight, I'll stop by Toys R Us and pick one of those up. What inspired that stuff? You guys did a great job with them. Thanks. Um, well, we were just sitting around one day at the Orlando Ruby Users Group, and I was like, we just came up with the idea. It's like, what if you could take the Mac PC ads and uh, kind of uh, apply them to programming languages? Yeah, it was sort of done in a, what if we did this? Like, wouldn't it be kind of funny if we did that? And then um, we decided to actually do it. And honestly, I thought it was, it was a horrible idea to actually do it. It's like, this might only be funny in concept, but it turned out okay. Can you think of a technology that is not currently available today that you would love to have? Yeah. Yeah, you remember in Back to the Future Part 2, when she put that tiny little thing in like what looked like a microwave and in five seconds there was a whole turkey ready. I want that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> that is a technology I would love. I'll see. pass. Okay, so a question on a bit of a different tack. Um, how would you define customer service? You should do that. You, should do that. <laughs> you know that YouTube video, The Angry German Kid? I think that sort of perfectly sums up customer service.